Wonderful evening, guys. Thanks for joining me. Uh, <laughs> Thursday night, uh, pretty darn late. Uh, just gonna get in a quick shave, and uh, no, this one is not gonna be a single edge one. Um, while I do have two more single edges that I would be able to use, uh, one being uh, another featherweight, the other one being a Jim Jr. I want to go back to my D's. <laughs> as weird as it sounds, uh, yeah, it was uh, it was a good run. Um, it was really not too bad on the single edge, uh, but yeah, I am longing for a double edge uh, blade. Yeah, blade razor, whatever you want to call it, a double edge shave. So yeah, um, right. It's late. Let's get into it. Um, this isn't going to be anything fancy. Uh, yeah, on the weekends I'm going to have some new products uh, which I will be presenting you. Today it's going to be something very standard, very simple. Some Nivea uh, shave cream, the original. And right, as a razor, because I've got two days of growth, uh, it'll be the Gillette Tech, just a regular ball end, the 50s one. Uh, 50s being post-war, so it's got the regular uh, rectangular uh, lather slits in it and as a blade the Wilkinson sword dreifach veredelt on its ninth ninth shave we'll pop that in there as a brush we shall be using as you can see nice and dripping because it's been soaking the um, gray dog horsehair and with the vintage German handle and yeah so we're just gonna go get going I'm going to just pop in the blade, pop that in there. I've been, uh, I've been wanting a, a shave with a tech uh, for about a week now. I don't know, it just kind of kept popping up in my head. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Tomorrow's Friday, last day this week for me also this time. I do not, hopefully do not have to work this weekend. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you guys are doing well, and uh, you know, TGIF. It was a long day today until I got home, I think it was 10 o'clock. Got out of work at 9, started at 7, so long day. Alright, well, um, I'm just going to get the face wet real quick, and then I'll be right back. Alright, and we're back. Yeah, I just come out of the shower, so... Nice and hydrated, ready to, cleaned out and ready to go, I think that's how it goes. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to do a quick face lather and all I'm doing here is just kind of getting some, some of the cream on the face. Not in the beard, on the face. Alright, good enough. Ah, just a nice Nivea, or how it's, yeah, German pronunciation of that is Nivea. So, yeah, I don't know why I keep doing that. Sometimes it's just difficult to switch back and forth. Just give it a good flick and dig in with the, uh, with the horse. Now the horse is a little flopsy. It's more a paintbrush. And you really got to watch out that you don't splay it too much or, you know, just kind of swirl it and, and, and really bust it apart. Um, unfortunately, horse hair is a little bit prone to tangle. Just because it lacks a little bit of the stiffness. But that's kind of the beauty of a horse hair that um, it's so nice and soft. So yeah, you gotta watch out a little bit when you're when you're face lathering or even bowl lathering with it that you don't overdo it because unfortunately what can happen is basically what's called the uh, the hole of death and in the middle uh, you'd start seeing kind of like um, 
an empty spot of the hair and uh, yeah it's where all the hair in the middle has been tangled up and uh, kind of in a knot and that's really hard to recover from normally it's kind of the end of the brush unfortunately so with horse hair there's a little bit just to kind of keep keep in mind I need a little bit more water, it's thirsty stuff. But a great cream. I mean, it's, um, especially in Europe, you can get it at any grocery store. It's not expensive. It just works good. Scent, very mild, I'd say somewhere around a tooth, two. Not even, not even a proper three. And it's just a very pleasant, Nivea type ish scent. I mean, you know, if you know, guys know the aftershave bomb, it's going in that direction. No, uh, unfortunately, I don't have the uh, sensitive to compare if that has a different scent than the uh, regular original mild. Oh, let's see here. This is this, this stuff here. So, as you can see, Got a good bit of lather there. Plenty on the face. Gillette Tech Wilkinson Sword Dreifach Veredelt Shave number nine. So this will be interesting. Oh yeah. Still going very smooth. I have so been looking forward to this, being able to use my my DEs again. Well, like I said, had a good run, good shaves with the SEs. I like it, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm a DE shaver. Say what you want. Lots of slickness, lots of glide here. This is just a, basically what I would call a, a standard cream. Nothing really fancy about it. And overall, just nice. It works. Ooh, that reminds me. Dreifach um, veredelt. I uh, recently got another tuck of 10. Finally, I found some on eBay. And uh, gotta get that on the way. So I'll, I'll be able to pick those up because I found them in, in Germany. And I'm not paying horrendous shipping costs over here. So I'll have them shipped uh, to my mom in Germany. <laughs> uh, and then I'll pick them up at Christmas. So yeah, let me just get some water on the face. Just a little bit. That first pass went quick. Very nice and smooth. Yeah, well, still a little bit to take off, but not that much. Blade's working nicely in that tech. This is probably one of my favorite techs. I don't know. It's just got a nice bit of heft to it. So, uh, yeah, uh, okay, yeah, weekend. Um, it looks like Kevy will be, Kevy Shaves, will be doing a live on Saturday. So, I'll be on the lookout for that notice. 
looking forward to seeing Kevy, who has had some uh, interesting shades here the last couple of days with his focus uh, focus dynamic, I think it's called. One bad, well, basically one bad shave due to a bad blade. And then on the next one, the razor redeemed itself with a proper blade and things worked out just wonderfully. So, as you can see, it's not always the razor. <laughs> It was a great thing that he uh, he gave that razor another chance, and uh, he said, you know, something might have something might have been off. Got a couple of couple of bumps here. I shaved on uh, on Tuesday. Uh, just a quick one. I'm I'm trying to trying to shave a little more often here again. Uh, getting my face used to it. And yeah, that shave was, whilst, you know, I was kind of, during the shave, I didn't really notice that much, but uh, my face isn't used to being shaven. I <laughs> almost got my finger there. Um, my face isn't used to getting shaven that much anymore. I've kind of gotten out of basically the daily shaves or even you know every second day and uh, yeah my face is somewhat slacked off a little if you want to say I want to say it that way had a couple of weepers after and not really irritation, but more feedback than I would like. And I was just kind of, hmm, okay, it was a little uncomfortable, just a, just a tad. And, uh, yeah, just gotta train, train the face again a little bit. see that's one of the spots I opened up again. This one was another one that was just kind of healing up that I got. And I think this blade is starting to show signs of It's just about done. Still shaving pretty decent, but you know, subtle signs starting to notice. So I don't know if this will go for a tenth shave. We'll see how it does on the pickups. All right. Yeah. yeah. That was one of the spots there. This wasn't. I think I just got myself there. Just a little weeper. So yeah, South Carolina lately been unseasonally warm. Normally right about now during the daytime yeah sure you can still get decent temperatures but usually by now I should be somewhat out of the shorts weather. And it has been very very warm here. We almost uh, I don't know what was it 90, 91, 92, somewhere along that line. 
That's a, might seem a little thin, but it's still good coverage, especially for the uh, for the pickup pass. There's not much in here. I mean, I didn't put huge amounts on my face, so no wonder. And I, I pretty well guess if I if I would have worked that that first pass a little better, would have gotten a little more out of it. I'm looking more for just the slickness, not so much cushion or anything like that. But that's personal preference. <laughs> Now earlier, I was, uh, you know, just, just right after getting home, I was uh, eating a little bit, and uh, unfortunately, window shopping on eBay, and I uh, started looking into the, the Arco aftershaves. Now, I've seen uh, Cincy, Cincy Shaves uh, use the, uh, what is it, I think the Gold Power. And he said it smells very reminiscent of uh, Paco Rabanne 1 million. Now, uh, does anybody have an idea of what the other ones smell like? That'd be great if, if you guys have any experience with the Arco aftershaves and could leave them down in the comments. That'd be very, very interesting. Because I've been looking at one which is called uh, Black. And it's an all black bottle. I was just kind of curious, you know, what some of the some of the scents were. Um, I couldn't really find much on the website. So, like I said, um, you know, if you guys know anything, it'd be great. If it's actually worth uh, getting, because I know Paul H uses it frequently. Since he's got it, I'm just kind of wondering. Hold on. Let me rinse off real quick and then I'll be back for the post. All right, and we are back. Yeah, there's plenty of rest slickness on here. Uh, face feels great. This stuff is uh, is really good. Uh, yeah, there's, there's not much negative I can say about the Nivea except that it's kind of lacking in scent a little bit. But it's, you know, while other uh, soaps have kind of an arguable, let's put it this way, um, artificial scent to it, this is just kind of nice uh, shave soap, creamy, kind of kind of the, like the aftershave bomb-ish type smell. And uh, yeah, it just works. It works freaking awesome. I'm sorry. Um, Pretty decent post shave. Um, works a treat uh, on the lather. Good cushion, good glide. I mean, I didn't work it up real frothy this time, uh, but uh, trust me, it's there. So yeah, it's just just good stuff. And uh, like I said, in, in Germany, I think I can get it for like two fifty to three bucks, maybe three fifty in some places, depending on where you look. So, 
standard witch hazel, as usual. Oops, sorry. feels good just nice and refreshing all right so while this is drying off we use today the Gillette see if this, yeah, this focus the Gillette tech oh boy I was I was <laughs> blank it's it's late it's uh, I think past 11 right now I definitely need to go to bed with the ball hand ball end handle and uh, 50s model, early 50s model and this thing has got some real heft to it uh, that's probably why I like it, that handle is nice and heavy Wilkinson sword, dreifach veredelt this was shave number 9 7, 8, 9 uh, I might retire it after this one. There's right there at the end when I was going against the green. It's just ever so slightly starting to not really pull a little bit, but you know, it's starting to show some resistance. So this one will might go. Cause that's why that's what I've been waiting on. I have uh, two blades which need to go here and two blades which need to go here in a frame. And somebody bumped into that. <laughs> So, yeah, that's kind of what I've been waiting on uh, to, to finish that display a little bit. And, uh, yeah, and hopefully we'll get this uh, decorated here nicely so it doesn't look quite as bland. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm not the prettiest thing to look at. Right. <laughs> so, razor, blade, brush, the uh, Grey Dog horsehair in the vintage German handle alongside some Nivea, the uh, original, mild, great stuff, great combo, really nice soft brush, and you can see there's a couple of weepers coming out here. So, that's about time we put on some aftershave, right? Fantastic brush. Uh, I really gotta thank Grey Dog for, uh, for sending this one to me. I mean, that's, that's fantastic. I love the handle and I love that uh, that knot that's in there, the horse here. So, aftershave for today will be Petra Lone Classic. Just great stuff. Nice cedar, fresh scent right off the top. And I know this is going to give me some feedback if you look at this. Uh, uh, that's why I'm saying I think I'm retiring that blade. Mmm. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. Fun right there. We had a party there. Woo. <laughs> yeah, but I gotta get the face used to it again. It has slacked off some. So we're back in training. <laughs> the stash is going everywhere right now. So, <laughs> oh, wonderful scent. It says classic for a reason. It's a, uh, it's kind of a cedar, undertoned, um, refreshing scent. Uh, difficult to place, but you can definitely get some of the the, the cedar oil that's in there. So. Mm. Great stuff. Wow. Yeah. That's nothing to be proud of right now. So as you can see, everybody can have a kind of a wicked shape here every now and then. Let me just, uh, let me just get some of the bigger ones. Step thick pencil under the water.
Yep, that is less than ideal. It happens. <laughs> Plus, I think I was kind of rushing it a little bit. I, uh, I do want to get to bed here at some point in time. So, but I did want to get a shave in for tomorrow. So, yeah. Plus, I enjoy making these videos. It's just kind of, you know, it's like if you're working all day, blah, blah, you know. Just kind of nice to be here chatting with you guys. And uh, the handle stays here. Like I said, I do enjoy talking to you guys. Even though I am standing in my bathroom alone, but nonetheless, imagination goes a long way. <laughs> Alright, guys. I think that'll be it for now. Probably gonna add some, some balm just shortly before I go to bed, even though the face feels good, but I want this taken care of so it doesn't bug me overnight or tomorrow morning. So probably doing some with some Nivea aftershave balm. Just gonna let this all dry in and just kinda heal off a little bit and slap it on. Okay, well, I wish you a uh, good Friday. By the time you see this, it probably is gonna be Friday because I'm not gonna upload it right now. Um, that would take a little long, and since I have to get up at uh, 5.30, 6 o'clock to head to work, uh, I'm going to call it a day. I apologize. But, uh, like I said, as I do like sitting here talking to you guys, I thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. And, uh, yeah, I know this was kind of a quick, no-fuss shave, sort of. <laughs> Uh, yeah, weekend, looking forward to seeing all of y'all, or some of y'all, uh, on Kevy Shave, uh, hopefully it happens, and then, uh, I'll see you on the weekend again with one of my videos, alright, you guys have a good night, have a great Friday, get a good start to the weekend, thank you very much, and, uh, good night. <laughs>